how to apply retinol, how much to apply, what to apply before, what to apply after. There are so many questions surrounding retinol and in today's video, we're going to answer them all. Hello, hello and welcome to Skincare Simplified. My name is Nipun, your skincare bestie, now a certified skincare consultant. And in today's video, we're going to do a talk and a demo where I will show you the complete layering process of retinol. Before we get started, do consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video. I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. This video has been broken down into two parts. In the first part, we're going to talk about retinol, who should be using it, when should you be using it, how do you get started and then how do you level up. In the second part, I will show you how to layer your retinol correctly for maximum benefits. If you're already a pro and you know all about retinol, then go ahead, check out this timestamp in the description and switch to the good part or the part that's most relevant to you. But if you're a beginner or you're new to this channel, I suggest you see this video entirely. Now let's get started. So what is retinol? Why is it called the magic anti-aging ingredient? Well, this is a derivative of vitamin A and this was initially used 50 years ago to treat acne. But over a period of time, dermatologists discovered covered its anti-aging benefits because it does boost skin cell turnover. Now what we have in the market is broadly called retinol. These are over-the-counter forms and this is available in creams, it's available in serums, it's available in oils as well. And then you have medical grade which is actually only available at a pharmacist and for this you need a prescription. This comes under different names as tretinoin, acetin or retinol A. Now let's get started about a beginner routine or if you're a beginner and you've never used retinol what is it that you do but before that let's talk about who should be using retinol everyone who's above the age of 25 man and woman as long as you're not pregnant or nursing you should be using retinol because after the age of 25 our skin cell turnover tends to slow down we produce less collagen so we need to give our skin something topically to boost it if you're a beginner, I strongly recommend you get started with a retinol-based cream. It is gentler than serums, the concentration is lower, and it is very, very easy for your skin to adapt to. A super affordable option that's literally available across the world is Ole Regenerous 24, and that is my most recommended cream that I recommend to someone who's just starting out with retinol. Apply this a pea size amount. Now understand this is a retinol based cream. This is not your moisturizer. So you're not going to slather it up onto your face. You will take a pea size amount, maybe a little more, dot it all over your face and smooth it over. And after that, you will apply a regular cream or a moisturizer that has no actives. So this is choice number one. But if you have a little more money to spare, a product that gives you a little more bang for buck, is the ROC Max Hydration Wrinkle Correct Cream. It is gentle, it's effective, and ROC was the very first brand that actually stabilized retinol, so they know their stuff. So if you can actually spare a little more time, I would say go in for ROC Max Hydration. You can start with any retinol-based creams, but creams are your safest options to start with. Now let's say you've used this product, you know, once a week, twice a week, and your skin is adjusting well to it. <clears throat> you're not experiencing peeling, rashes, redness, then you can build the frequency of using the product. You can go up to five times a week, but don't do it together. Go increasing the frequency one night at a time, week by week. However, let's say you start experiencing a little bit of irritation. What do you do? You stop using retinol for a while. You switch back to the best product that helps you with a broken skin barrier, which is La Roche-Posay Cisa Plast Bium Balm. Use that AM and PM, allow your skin to settle and then restart. If your skin is sensitive, I highly recommend you use the sandwich method of applying retinol. Now, what is the sandwich method? You will first apply your face cream, which has no actives. Wait for five, seven minutes. Apply your retinol, pea size amount. Wait for another seven, eight, ten minutes maybe and then apply your moisturizer. This process is longer, but by making sure that your retinol is sandwiched between the two layers of moisturizer, you actually reduce the irritation that can happen onto your skin. Now that is the first part about learning to get to start with retinol. Now let's say you've been comfortably using a retinol-based cream 
for a couple of months. A jar is effectively going to take you three months. So in three months, if you've used it three to four times a week, now you're ready to level up to something stronger. Now is your time to look at retinol serums that have a higher potency. A brand that I absolutely love for this once again is ROC and the second one is Boots number no. 7, 1.5% retinol complex. This is a serum. It has matrixyl, which is a peptide, and this is a beautiful combination. In addition to this, you can now switch up to the ordinary uh, retinol in squalene. It is higher concentration, but it is gentle on your skin. I don't recommend starting with the ordinary for the very first time, but once your skin is a little used to a retinol-based cream, you can move to the ordinary retinol-based serums or any other retinol-based serum that you can find. And finally, after six to eight months, it is your time to get started on tretinoin, which is medical grade. Now, I have been on tretinoin for about three years. The concentration I am most comfortable with is 0.025%. I do start with a higher concentration, but my skin tends to peel and get irritated. So I just stick to 0.025% because remember, skincare is a marathon and consistency is the key. There is a lot of confusion when it comes to layering retinol. Because we love to layer our actives, everyone is super confused, especially because of TikTok videos. Can we use our vitamin C with retinol? Can we use a lactic acid or an AHA or a BHA with retinol? So in this part of the video, I'm going to clear the confusion. Retinol is a powerful ingredient. It should be used all by itself along with a moisturizer. However, there are a few ingredients which if you layer your retinol with, you are going to boost your entire anti-aging skincare routine a hundred times. Ingredients like niacinamide, ingredients like matrixyl 10%, which is a peptide. So now I'm going to quickly move into the application part of the video. Here I'm going to show you how I apply my retinol or what I apply, which is tretinoin. The same principles will apply whether you use a retinol-based cream, a retinol-based serum or tretinoin as I do. Just make sure you watch all the steps that are going to come forth very, very carefully. Don't watch it on high speed. Don't try to skip because if you make a few mistakes, it could ruin your entire routine. If you're still watching this video, do consider subscribing to the channel. And now let's quickly move into the application part. So when you're starting a nighttime skincare routine, you have to start with double cleansing. I'm using the one here from Elimis. There are many more options in the market. Start by applying it on your dry face, which has makeup and sunscreen. Massage it in really, really well. Make sure that you take your time massaging your cleansing balm. Take it on all the nooks and corners and then add a little bit of water on the palm of your hands and this will emulsify the entire process and it will start melting all of your makeup and sunscreen just keep on with the process this is super important you need to make sure you get everything out completely then wash off now it is time for your second cleanse for my second cleanse i'm using a regular cleanser i'm using the velvet cloud by skin proud you can use whatever cleanser options are here on the screen make sure you massage that for at least 60 seconds before you wash off i sometimes like to take a little longer but that's totally up to you but 60 seconds or a minute is what you need to do while you are rubbing and massaging your entire face with your second cleanser wash it off and now you're completely clean ready to get started with your skincare now let's start with a step that's completely optional and that is toner i'm using a hydrating toner this is from the brand i am from this is the rice toner you can use any hydrating toner avoid toners with glycolic acid ahas or bhas as they can conflict with your retinol next step is optional but i do recommend using a snail mucin essence it is not only hydrating but this also has anti-aging properties which are fantastic for your skin Two pumps is good enough for your entire face and neck. I like to massage it under my eyes, on my entire face. It is great. Next step, Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Now, my skin is extra dry, which is why I'm adding the Hyaluronic Acid Serum by Skin Proud. You can use any Hyaluronic Acid Serum that's available in the market. However, if you have used the Snail Mucin Essence, you can actually skip using the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. It's totally optional. But a step that I do recommend, highly recommend, is using Niacinamide. Niacinamide 
works very very well with retinol you need a very small amount i'm using the one from the ordinary apply it all over your face and neck now step number seven optional it is an eye cream you literally need the size of a grain for your under eye area for both your eyes and foot above the lids these are some of the options that are available for retinol based eye creams in the market as you can see i massage it all over and then with light hands i start to tap it down this tapping motion that you will see really helps absorb the eye cream better and this is a great step if you are using an anti-aging routine now you're ready to apply your retinol or your tretinoin however if you want to give a big boost to your anti-aging routine start using matrixyl 10% this is a peptide and it is a peptide that works very very well with retinol so if you want to plump your face I recommend this next is your retinol I'm using tretinoin you literally need a pea size amount I took a little extra by mistake but you start by actually dotting it all over your face and your neck now as i apply this look at it very carefully i'm not only taking this on my neck i'm also taking it behind i'm also taking it on my decollage because this is where signs of aging start to appear really really quickly and then with gentle hands i am just smoothing this all over my face my neck my decollage because this is an important part of an anti-aging routine be very gentle while smoothing over your retinol you don't want to massage it you just want to smooth it over gently and that is pretty much it now wait for 10 minutes and then i'm just using my guerlain watery oil serum because i always do but this is an optional step you can completely skip it but i like applying my guerlain and if you've been following me on tiktok on instagram you know how much i love this serum last step after you apply your retinol or your tretinoin very very important is your night cream you can literally apply any cream i use the one from sunday riley just make sure your cream has no actives this is applied 10 minutes after your retinol apply it and now you're ready to sleep